So we're proud to announce, uh, in conjunction with the Wellcome Trust, the launch of the Big Data VR Challenge. This is uh, a project uh, competition in collaboration with Wellcome to try and address one of the uh, biggest issues facing uh, scientific research right now, which is how to deal with large data sets and how to interrogate large data sets. Now it struck us, uh, Epic and Wellcome, that one way to do this would be to use uh, the new VR technologies in conjunction with UE4 and games developers to take a look at how these data sets can be presented and interacted with. So we're launching a competition, it will carry on over four months, six teams and three projects where they'll work in conjunction with Wellcome to build VR uh, systems to interrogate and view large data sets. So the Wellcome Trust is, um, is a global biomedical charity. We are funded through a large endowment somewhere in the region of 18 to 19 billion pounds and that allows us to spend upwards of 700 million pounds a year on a range of biomedical, cultural and engagement activities. So my work at the Trust is focused on enabling creative collaborations between the entertainment industries and the research community. One of the projects that we did previously was the Unreal Challenge with Epic back in 2013. What's really interesting for us now with the Big Data VR Challenge is actually it's turning it the other way around and looking at how the games industry the skills in the games industry can be applied to a real-world problem um, that faced by the research community. If we look at the pioneering work of the games industry, I think it's clear that they have the intellectual horsepower to take a vast number of data points and begin to assemble that into representations that may allow our researchers to start to see emergent patterns. And I think if we are to really leverage um, the skill sets that exist across these disciplinary areas and the creativity that exists within that. We need to be open-minded and we need to embrace the talent that exists within that industrial sector. With this challenge, as with previous collaborations, the researchers will be embedded as part of the team with the game studios. So they'll be working as one whole team, collaborating throughout the whole process. From our experience with the Unreal Challenge, those workshops when we bring people together, the collaborations, are some of the most exciting moments. Um, and everybody seems to get a lot out of it. So my hopes from the challenge is that, first Firstly, that the collaborations are truly sort of creative and rewarding for everyone involved, but also it'd be amazing if we get some really innovative solutions to the challenges that the researchers are facing. I would encourage any studio that feels that it has innovative and creative technology um, to engage with this initiative and to reach out um, to colleagues uh, at Wellcome who are curating the initiative to help them help you to build the links with our scientists to really allow that creative fusion of talent to take place. And who knows what will emerge. But I think that we will drive innovation uh, around how we handle, manage, visualise and ultimately use big data for the good of society. So I'd say to all the studios thinking of taking part that I'd encourage them absolutely to do so. It is a completely fresh approach to tackling some real world challenges and it will hopefully bring um, something new to your own experience and work and, um, and bring some fresh ideas to, to our research community.